um, Jamie Lee Ross. I move that the question be now put. I'll hear from Kevin, Kelvin Davis. Thank you, Mr Chair. Uh, I'd like to talk to Clause 37, which is uh, the procedure after close of the voting period. It says, as soon as practical, practicable after 7pm on the last day of the voting period, the returning officer must, in the case of the first flag referendum, count in the manner described in Schedule 4 the votes received for each option. And before I turn to Schedule 4, I'd just like to uh, ponder the incredible contribution from Jackie Dean. Uh, incredibly ridiculous contribution, I believe, from Jackie Dean, who, who said that New Zealanders were, uh, we shouldn't have five options in Schedule 1, uh, the fifth option being the New Zealand flag, because we might get it confused. She thinks that we, with, the, uh, with the other flags, she doesn't think New Zealanders are intelligent enough to look at option A, or that's a, an alternative design, option B is an alternative design, option C is an alternative design, option D is an alternative design, option E, oh, that's the New Zealand flag. You know, it's too hard to recognise that there. So let's turn to uh, Schedule 4 instead and the method of counting votes, because if she thinks New Zealanders are too simple to recognise the New Zealand flag out of uh, uh, five options, let's turn to the method of counting votes in uh, Schedule 4. And uh, it says, votes are counted by recognising preferences as provided in, in for Part 2 of the schedule and by performing the steps in clauses 3 to 9 until an option is, is successful. And here's Step 1. Uh, determine the absolute majority of votes using the following formula. M equals V minus VNT divided by 2. Look, if New Zealanders are incapable of recognising the New Zealand flag out of five options put to us, how on earth are they going to be able to uh, understand step one in the uh, method of counting votes? Uh, let me explain a bit further. The key is uh, uh, where M is the absolute majority of votes. If M is not a whole number, it is rounded up to the next whole number. How can we have a number of votes that is not a whole number? Are we going to have 1,365,000.2 votes cast? It's, it's an absolute nonsense. That we, can't that we won't have a whole number in, uh, in terms of the numbers of people voting. Okay, v is the number of voting papers. VNT is the total number of transferable votes. It says an option is successful if the number of first preference votes equals or exceeds the absolute majority of votes. I'm glad that's really clear for all of New Zealand to understand. As a, as a former teacher, it goes to prove the rule uh, that you don't actually have to know what you're teaching, you just have to teach it, because I certainly don't understand that formula there. Step two, all right, so that was step one that we went through. Step two is if no option is successful, the option with the fewest first preference votes, preference votes is excluded. Well, okay, that means the, uh, the one with the least preferences, that's, that's discounted, uh, least votes, that's discounted, that's fine. Um, for each voting paper on which the option excluded under clause 5 is the first preference, redistribute that vote to the option that is the next preference on that voting paper. I'm sure the people of Taitokero really understand this. They're really going to understand the, pr the process that we're going to go through to select the flag, how they're going to vote and how, how the counting is done. Uh, with with the clarity of these instructions. Uh, bearing in mind, remembering the extraordinary contribution from Jackie Dean that New Zealanders are incapable of distinguishing the New Zealand flag from, uh, from a list of five flags. Uh, and where is she the MP of? Somebody else here. I didn't realise we had an electorate uh, called La La Land, but she's the, certainly the MP for La La Land. If she doesn't think or doesn't trust New Zealanders to be able to distinguish the New Zealand flag out of a list of uh, uh, five flags. I mean, it's not like they have to read the description of the flags. There's pictures going to be there. She won't 
She's probably talking about herself, that she won't be able to recognise the New Zealand flag out of five pictures. <laughs>